Hey guys, I uh, figured seeing as this is going to be the last weekly challenge until the game gets launched in October, I'd make a video guide and some tips and strategies to help give it your best shot. First things first, the challenge requires you to become an elemental collector, as Carney put it. That means you need to deal as many elemental effects as you can whilst also collecting as many materials as well. And then add them both together, and well, Bob's your uncle, Jane's your dad, and you've got your score. So, let's look at your loadout. The main thing you're going to want to be focusing on is weapons and perks that provide elemental effects. So I'm talking Dragon's Breath on the shotgun, thermal rerouting on the minigun, lead poisoning and infectious on the carbine, fireflies on the hand cannon, shock rounds on the SMG, or emergency resupply on the assault rifle. Yes, although not an elemental damage dealer in itself, the perk providing you with next to unlimited amount of grenades which can provide the elemental effects. Your grenades could either be shocks or the incendiary and for perks a must have is wrath burst at level 3. It will not only deal fire damage but also shock so it's a no brainer to need. Now as for heroes uh, you could take Ortega to a have access to multiple weapons on the list that could help and she'll do pretty well. In a team she might be a better choice. However, Rosie is the clear best choice when attempting this solo, as her ability to heal herself is too good and given the strategy I'm about to show just requires you to take damage, she's the best at sustaining that. Let's talk strategies. The challenge gives you the option of completing missions or going into an expedition, which gives you a lot of scope when working out a good approach. Now for solo, I definitely recommend going in on an expedition, but in a team, there are a number of missions that you can mess around with um, in order to continue to uh, force spawn in dinos, uh, those being contact and research and rescue, both of which have places in which you can put up some big numbers. During the mission contact, when you're required to shut gates A and B, you'll continue to get a stream of dinos that will flood into the comm center if you choose not to shut them, which could work as a strategy in a team. However, being stuck with the fact that you all, all three of you have to be here at once to continue the mission, it may not work as a, uh, mo the most optimal strategy. During the mission uh, Research and Rescue, when you're repairing the A, B and C scanners underneath the mountain, you'll also be met with a consistent stream of dinos. So in a team situation, having two players there whilst the other roaming could be a, a good way to build up your elements and mats. Uh, this strategy uh, works better than the contact one as you don't all have to be here to continue the mission so you could have a person roaming without it affecting um, the mission as you're not having to gather your unit at any stage during this mission. Now as for solo, extraction farming is likely going to be the best method. Uh, extraction farming if you're not aware is where you will uh, jump into the um, an expedition and immediately start extracting and then rather than jumping on the dropship you just let the dinos keep flooding in and just kill them with our unlimited ammo. This again is why having Rosie is a very good choice because you then don't have to worry about healing either. Uh, extraction farming is highly dependent on threat levels and where you choose to extract and the dinos that will regularly spawn them. Well, let's just jump into a expedition and I'll explain what I'm talking about. You can get Sarah to allow you to extract quickly by running a distance away from the extraction site and immediately running back to start extracting as soon as possible. From there, uh, if you're playing as Rosie, you just want to let the dinos hit you and proc Wrath Burst. You may also want to set up your static barriers and keep up a collection of those but the main aim is to just get hit and collect. Now, a great way to proc Wrath Burst is to deliberately get hit by the Acid uh, Spit. 
every time you get hit by the acid spit within a couple of seconds you will at least proc your wrath burst once and sometimes even as m many as two times um, so what you want to be doing is basically watching where the acids are and catching their bullets as opposed to um, avoiding them as you would traditionally do in a game now I'm just gonna let the rest of this uh, five minute clip play out but this is just a five minute um, extraction uh, farming that I did just to try and show what I'm talking about uh, if you just want to skip to the end you can but it'll just be uh, me showing exactly what I did for five minutes and you can see uh, my score at the end
so there you have it mission completed five minutes and 505 uh, total if you multiplied that by four you're looking at 2,000 or more well that's all I've got for you good luck uh, with the seasonal and let me know how you go is there a strategy you found that works better and as always happy dino hunting <laughs>